Today we will see how a glass mushroom pendant is made. Dan Alexander of the Hip Hop Hippie Shop in Cameron Mills, New York is a three-year glass artist. He can make a large variety of glass art ranging from animals, vases, wine bottle tops, jewelry, and even the occasional tobacco pipe. But today he will show us something quick and simple to make. Okay, I'm going to start out today by explaining some of the tools we use and some of the basic safety precautions that we take. We mostly use graphite tools. Uh, these are different kind of push tools or uh, shaping rods. Um, sometimes prefer to use brass. What happens is these tools transfer heat more evenly. There's lots of different tools you can use like these tweezers that you can find at any hardware store that are really a big hand. This torch itself is the red rocket with a side torch. Um, it is a surface mix the larger torch and a premix, the smaller one. The smaller one is louder. Uh, it gets a little hotter and it's a little finer tipped. There are two different torches that I use for different things. We use borosilic glass, which is a little bit harder glass. This is a tube. This is we use millimeters. This is 25 um, millimeter by four millimeters thick. Uh, when we add colors, we also have rod. This is a rod, a 12 millimeter rod, uh, solid glass. These are our color rods. Color rods are just colored glass which we add to it a lot of people think when we're making our art that we're coloring with some kind of a marker or paint that we're painting on the glass it's not it's glass it's melted in and that's why you, with hard glass unlike soft it's a little harder to make a design perfect you have the fans on while working with this because it is powdered glass which if you inhaled powder glass well I need to say no more um, of course it comes here we try and remove the air as fast as we can because inside of borosilic glass are leads and toxins that we don't want to enter our bodies. After ensuring that he has all the proper tools and materials and has taken all the safety precautions, Dan will begin the process of making a glass mushroom pendant. The first thing that Dan does is take a 12 millimeter glass rod and heats up the end until it is molten. Once the rod has reached the desired temperature, Dan takes a colored glass rod and inserts it into the heated up 12 millimeter rod. The combining of the heat and the cold create an explosion like effect making the mushroom shape inside the bead. Next he connects a smaller rod to the bead so he can disconnect the bead from the rest of the 12 millimeter rod. He heats the bead again and slowly starts stretching the glass like a piece of chewed bubblegum. While stretching the rod, Dan forms a loop creating the pendant. After making the loop, you make sure it is good and strong because that is where the pendant will connect to the necklace and can easily break if not done properly. Once he has made the loop the way he wants, Dan lightly taps the glass piece on a hard surface breaking the rod leaving only the pendant. Then he heats it back up to smoothen the broken tip. And there you have it, a completed glass mushroom pendant. Dan then puts it into the kiln where it will have to sit for the next few hours. Then it will be ready to go on a necklace for some lucky person to wear. Here are some examples of mushroom pendant and other pieces of jewelry available at Dan's shop. You can see these and other great pieces of glass work at the Hip Hop Hippie Shop. A one-stop shop for all your hippie needs.